Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I've been trying to pour all night long and I seem to have nothing but interruptions. I started a video a couple hours back and then my neighbor popped in and I was in the middle of it so I had to stop. Then I started all over again and my daughter's boyfriend came up from downstairs and said, oh, are you videoing? And I said, well, I was. So that got put on hold. And I got started again and my daughter and my new grandbaby came up. So everything got put on hold. So let's try again. So this is a six by six white ceramic tile. My base coat is already down. I will list that in the description box at the bottom. And let's throw some colors around. This is a Demco, Demco, I think it's called Demco colors. It's one of my favorite greens. A lot of people won't like it. I think it's beautiful. Um, teach his own, you know, we're all very different. And let's do a little bit of turquoise. As you know, I don't put my colors overlapping. Oh, they're overlapping, but they're not necessarily puddled on top of each other. Just because I don't like uniformity. Somewhat like my life. This rampant chaos works good for me. We're going to do a deconstructed bloom pour with some fine details. You guys can all do this. You can all follow along. You can all do it on your own. You got this. It's just it's practice. It's composition, which doesn't always work as you think it's going to. Um, you can do it. This is a golden yellow. These are kind of wonky colors, hey? These are my, my earthy weird ones. So let's splash some orange in here just maybe to brighten it up a bit. I made all new paints today. Canadian people, uh, Michaels has all their paints on, buy two, get one for free. So you save about six bucks. Six bucks is six bucks in the grand scheme of things because you know you're going to go and buy some paint anyway. So you might as well do it when it's on sale. I went today thinking, oh, I don't really need a lot. Uh, $100 later, out I came. Okay, a little bit of black cell mix. I'll list the recipe for that as well. And let's blow this out. I have all my glasses, all the glasses I own are on top of my head right now. Okay, we're gonna be patient for just a second and let this middle come back in. And then let's see what we can do. I'm gonna give this bit of a torch. I did a bit of a crazy mixing job on my base paint and got lots of little pockets and bubbles in it. It's a little bit thinner than I usually prefer. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna take our shish kebab skewer and we're just gonna dissect this and make some pretty things hopefully. No particular rhyme or reason. We're just gonna do it and hope for the best. Chop that up. This is pretty, I like this already. Doesn't really mean anything though. I like lots of things and then it loses it. Okay, we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna go in here and maybe in there. Okay guys, let's stretch this a tiny bit. We're gonna stretch it and then we're gonna go back in and maybe make some more funny little marks and we're just gonna work it out that way. This is much thinner than I prefer. It will work, but I tend to like it super uber sticky and gooey. Sorry for tipping it towards me. It's hard to remember that you can't necessarily see what I'm looking at. There we go. All the way over, 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 over. Yeah, we did it. And then, all 
all the way back. Okay, let's stop there and go back in with our kebab stick and add some pretty little details. So like I say all the time, I try to, I try to look for contrasting lines so that it adds some visual interest to your piece. I'm just taking out little white bubbles that have popped. So you want to try to drag light over dark, dark over light, blah, blah, blah. So let's start this way. With any luck, we'll get through this piece without the kids coming back upstairs. My daughter's just had a new baby and I'm super fortunate to have her in the basement because I get tons and tons of grandma time. So I feel very fortunate. So don't, you know what guys, don't, I say this all the time, don't be afraid to just go in there and just chop these little bits in. Just add to your piece, it adds visual interest, create something different. And it, you know what, it's your piece and it's only paint and if you screw it up, well, it's only paint. You know. The tiles are great to practice on. I tell everybody that asks me, I start, I always start small on the tile, even when I'm doing a bigger piece and I test my colors, I test my mixes because I've been there, guys. I've, I've mixed my stuff and I think, oh yeah, I got this. And then the next time I mix it, nothing works. Nothing works. And I'm so frustrated. I just, I feel like tossing it all. And sometimes you have to walk away. Walk away, come back. Come back tomorrow with a fresh perspective and you know what it'll work tomorrow it'll work and it'll baffle you like why didn't it work last night i did the same thing you know what it's just the way it is i have no explanations so that's it we're just going to keep working this we're going to add little details here and there we're going to keep taking contrasting lines light over dark dark over light and just move your paint around. Just fluid art is pretty fun just the way it is, but you can certainly make it into something incredible with just a little bit of effort. This is when I'm doing this by myself, I can do it quite quick, but when I'm trying to video, it, it seems like it takes me a lot longer. Maybe because I think more. When I'm doing myself, I just make little lines. Do, 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 do. Make a curly cue just for something fun. Okay, I'm kind of maybe at the end of this. I'll maybe go up here somewhere. I don't sometimes I get too carried away and then it kind of spoils the piece. It's like that too many cooks spoil the stew, well, too many lines spoil the paint. But it's fun to keep going. This part for me is almost more fun than the pour. Okay guys, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna take my edges off, but you certainly don't have to. Um, I'm taking them off only because I'm going to copper foil them once I cover this with resin. I'm going to copper foil it and I think I'm going to mount it on a wooden cradle plaque. Let's just add a couple more. All right, I'm happy with that. I'll bring it down and you guys can have a look.
Perfect. Well done, guys. Have fun painting. Talk soon.